Hello guys, in this video, we will try to abandon the message from C sharp and when the message is abandoned, the message remains there in the service bus queue, but the message delivery count will increase by one and I guess it makes sense because service bus has tried to deliver that message, but then the receiver abandoned it. Okay, so let's see it in action. Let's first check if we have any message in the queue. So we'll open the queue. Explorer. Pick from start. And if I open this message, so we have one message and the content is message to be ignored by receiver. And guys, important thing, see this delivery count, it is zero. So what now we will do is, we will read this message in our C sharp code, but then we will abandon it. So message should remain over here, but then the delivery count should become one. And let's try that. So we are in Visual Studio. We have this connection string for our service bus queue, then queue name from which we will read that message. We created service bus client using that connection string. We created service bus receiver from that service bus client and from that queue name. Okay. And here on line number 18, we are actually reading the message from service bus queue. Okay. And let's try to abandon this message. So we'll say service bus receiver dot abandon message and let's pass that message to this. Let's say await. Oh, sorry. Right. So, I have added a debugger over here and let's run it. So, our debugger has been hit. First thing, if I cross check the contents of this message, see it says message to be ignored by receiver. So, that is the correct message which we have received from this queue and let's cross check the delivery count. See, now it says delivery count zero, but if I refresh it, pick from start and you see the delivery count is one. Okay. So that's it guys. Thanks. Thanks for listening.